How to delete bulk invoices in Xero. Hi everyone, my name is Saad and in this video we are going to see an amazing technique with which you can delete the bulk invoices in Xero. So if you're thinking it's not possible, it's completely possible. You just have to find a trick for it. So let's say if I am in the business and if I go to invoices here, under all, you can see all of the invoices. Some of them are awaiting approval, draft and awaiting payment, whatever. So right now here, let's say you want to delete all of them. You won't find any option here. So all you have to do is just go to the individual sections. As you can see here, we have a section of draft. We have a section of awaiting approval and we have a section of awaiting payment. And in each of that section, we can find the delete bulk option. As we can see, we can select all of them and click on delete and it will delete these two items. Same thing. If I go to awaiting approval, we have the same option here. You can delete in bulk and same option in the awaiting payment. We have the option to delete in bulk. But if we have sent or approved that invoices, now if we go to awaiting payment and we select it, we won't find any option to delete in bulk there. What we have to do is manually just go in any particular invoice and then just use this one and click on void. Now void is equivalent to delete. As we can see here, are you sure you want to void this invoice? This invoice will be deleted and can be undone. Now what is the difference between void and delete? Simply voiding the invoice will keep it its records in the system, but it will not affect the financial records. That is used for the audit purposes that it will completely delete it, but it will not remove it entirely from the system. You can still see it in the reports, although only the audit trial reports, it won't affect the financial reports. So that's the main purpose of it. So you can void it. If it was not sent for approval or passed for approval and just waiting for the payment. So in the awaiting approval and draft, you can completely delete it. But if it is sent to awaiting payment, you can void it. Now, if we go to the awaiting payment again, and if we select this, since now it has actually affected the accounts. So that's why you have to delete it one by one. So guys, I believe this is the quick solution for that. If you have some other solution, just mention down in the comments as well. And let me know in the comments if that works for you. And I will see you in the next one.